everybody hello people how are you guys doing good evening good evening can you see me can you hear me hi durga hello good evening oh ho ho kushi thank you hi hello teju yes okay 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 that's good हेलो अनुष्का हाय हेमो चंद्रिका गुड इवनिंग हाय जगत राम आई एम ग्लैड यू यूर टू हेलो टीन बॉय फैक्ट हाय बद्री ग्लैड टू सी योर ऑन टाइम हा गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी हाय केशवरन ईश्वरन ओके यस डेफिनेटली जगत राम हेलो कीर्तना गुड इवनिंग हाय त्विशा डेफिनेटली अनुष्का good evening good evening good evening okay so so we are going to have an entire uh, what do you say a uh, question session okay we are we are going to begin botany in idoc series okay so to all those who want to become doctors the future doctors we are here starting our idoc series okay yes ready to become doctors oh really anushka that's nice absolutely absolutely teen boy yes we will we will rock botany okay so to if if people are new here my name is ashima joshi okay and uh, i'm your botany teacher i will be taking a few botany sessions before your neat exam which is coming up on 17th and i'm super 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 excited oh ho ho badri okay that's nice okay need 2024 when we'll work on it okay let's give a little more importance to the students who are writing need in the next week okay oh good to see fire ram hello himant hi rishi okay so 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 we are uh that's okay badri okay so we're going to start okay it's all questions you will have a lot of fun just answering them okay you only have to give the answers in the chat box and we'll see how it goes Yes, thank you, Shiva. You are in fear. Oh ho ho! See, fear. Say, you are not going to get anything with fear. Okay. So let's see how confident we are here, and then we. We'll, you see, by the time you do the questions here, the, these are most expected questions. That means you are bound to get at least, uh, you know, at least some of the questions from this. Okay. I, I'll say at least twenty to thirty percent of the questions that I do here, you will get some related question in the exam. okay so that means if you can do these questions you can automatically build your confidence that is why practice is important okay that's awesome anushka no no we are not at all it's good to see you all and we're going to start okay shall we start can you can you give me a thumbs up in the chat box to just say that you're all ready and we're going to start yes yes gokul Give me a thumbs up, all of you. Give me a thumbs up in the chat box, and then we can start the session. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, fire. Thumbs up. Yes. Something, something that creates waves. Come on. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Right. So we're going to start the session. Okay, we're going to start the session, and here comes the first, first, first question. Ready? Hi Shivani hello everyone okay first question people let's see if you can all answer okay what a hyacinth is one of the most invasive weeds okay it's a most invasive weed why why do you think it's most invasive yeah you can give what is the option what is the correct option you think oh ho ho okay green heart for botany that's good idea yes so from next class onwards everybody okay from this minute onwards everybody will put green hearts okay right it gets adapted to any fresh water body is it because it's welcome everywhere you go yes i am water hyacinth i am welcome everywhere it produces secondary metabolites against herbivores it can propagate propagate vegetatively at a phenomenal rate it is predated upon by a large number of organisms okay so the reason is it can propagate vegetatively at a phenomenal rate okay because you know how they uh, how they propagate what what organ do they use to propagate 
they use offsets okay they use modified stems called as offsets and this this offset will be able to generate so many plants in such very such such less time okay so that's why offsets are there and that's how we we get so much of growth it just covers the entire water area water surface okay yes offset something we have learnt in morphology of flowering plants as well as your reproduction okay okay this was an easy question just a warm up question let's go to the next one it's good to see green in the chat box okay the most critical event in sexual reproduction is what's the most critical event hi gorika what is the most critical event are you sure are you sure it is fertilization yes fertilization pakka 100% yes yes more than gametogenesis more than gameto uh, gamete transfer more than embryogenesis fertilization is very critical because it's a chance factor okay it's a chance event it can happen okay the right gametes can come together it can fertilize it cannot fertilize so it's a chance factor uh it's it's all like you know i've done everything please let it happen okay so it's kind of left to fate that is why fertilization is a very critical stage when it comes to sexual reproduction easy question very easy question yes let's go to the next one with respect to organisms exhibiting internal fertilization okay okay organisms exhibiting external fertilization show what Hi Prem Kumar. Okay, Gorika. Yes, with respect to organisms. Okay, so what is the difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization? Change my prefix Mister to Doctor. My God. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting different answers here. Okay, so they want to see what what will external fertilization animals or organisms show. Okay. more variations no see generally variations are happening because of sexual reproduction internal or external it doesn't matter okay so as long as it's sexual reproduction there is variation great synchrony between sex synchrony between sex that is we have to release the male gamete and the female gamete at the same time okay synchrony means planning yes synchrony means planning they have to release both the gametes at the same time right so in external fertilization they have to plan na otherwise they not they never going to meet okay fertilization is happening outside so if the female gamete is ready so they need a medium okay just consider it is happening in water okay consider it it's happening in water i use red okay in that case the female gamete and the male gamete has to reach at the same time yes there has to be some sort of planning yes planning is very important right and that is exactly what synchrony means they have to release the gametes at the same time and that has to be done in external fertilization because otherwise they might not ever meet okay large female size and males no size uh, is not uh, you know dependent on internal or external fertilization less vulnerability to predation less vulnerability to predation is a characteristic of internal fertilization yes less vulnerability is a character of internal fertilization what is the question here the question here is asking you about external fertilization yes Yes, they're not asking about internal fertilization. They're asking what is the character, what is it that external fertilization shows, right? So the answer is B. Okay, because in external fertilization they require great synchrony. Ah, see, this is what happens when you don't read the question carefully. Every question, every option has to be read carefully. Okay, good job. Okay. Next question will go. Which one of the following is not correct? Again, here also you have to be very careful with the question if it's mentioned correct or non-correct. Okay, you will, you will. Uh, hi, Utkarsh. Yes. 
so which of we which of these is not correct okay you want me to move i'll move you see offspring produced by asexually reproduction are called clones microscopic motile asexually reproduction structures are called zoospores in potato banana ginger the plantlets arise from internodes present in the modified stem uh, water hyacinth growing in standing water drains oxygen from the water and leads to death of fish which one is wrong here d is the answer again okay okay go ahead i want everybody yes everybody to give the answers come on hmm okay okay i'm very sorry to burst your bubble this see this is how you should be very concentrated on the options and questions there is one word okay there is only one word which is a mistake yes internodes you don't get plantlets or plants forming from internodes okay you don't get it because internodes are the regions between nodes okay so imagine this is the node and this gap between two nodes is your internode yes so from the internode it is very rare you cannot have plants or plantlets coming out from the internode it is from the node that you have any structure growing yes only from the nodes you can have the structures so that is why c option is wrong in potato banana ginger whatever it is okay you can have plantlets or any kind of growth only from the nodes never from the internodes yeah next one so the answer is c okay let's go to the next question which one of the following generates new genetic combinations leading to variation okay where or in which type or in which process do you find more variation genetic variation this is the easiest question you can ever have yes very good very good very good okay at least at least that i think everybody is aligned with it okay yes the answer is c okay sexual reproduction may you will definitely find variation because when the gametes are made there is a lot of recombination happening okay so that creates variation there are two different parents okay so at that time there are two different sources of genes and there is definitely variation okay i know i hope it comes to for the neat exam also okay let's go to the next question this was very easy monoecious plant of cara shows the occurrence of what yes cara is an algae okay what character do you see in cara anthridiophore archegoniophore on the same plant stamen and carpel on the same plant upper anthridium lower ugonium upper ugonium lower anthridium okay right so let's discuss this question okay so anthridiophore archegoniophore these are structures you will find in bryophytes okay the, these are structures you will find in bryophytes not in algae cara cara is an al algae okay so you not have that cara then stamen and carpel you find in flowering plants or angiosperms yes you find them in angiosperms so now the only option is now see there is another way of learning this as well you look at option c and option d they are opposite to each other yes they are opposite to each other okay this is your strategy this is a very good strategy to look at questions when you have two options which are contradicting each other okay one is saying yes the other is saying no either of those has to be correct yes either of those has to be correct either upper anthridium lower ugonium has to be correct or lower anthridium and upper ugonium has to be correct yes so the answer is d okay it has an upper ugonium ugonium is the female structure yes ugonium is the female structure oh and anthridium is the male structure okay so they have both of them in the same plant and they have it in this direction okay this uh, arrangement awesome next question 
Okay. As you are answering questions, come on, put up some likes also. Okay, so that we can move ahead. Find out the correct statement here. Yes? Have you guys put up the likes yet? I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Come on, people. Yes. Find out the correct statement here. Done. Thank you. Okay. Lifespan of organisms are necessarily correlated to their sizes. No, no, not necessary. Okay. They have nothing to do with the size of the organism. Size of crows and parrots are not very different. So their lifespans are also similar. No. Again, B option goes according to the A op option. So both of them are wrong. People tree has much shorter lifespan. No, people tree lives longer than a mango tree. Okay. Reproduction is essential for continuity of species. Perfect. 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 D is the answer. Okay. Again, this is, this is nothing for me to explain here. This is a direct question. Yes. Smash the like button. Oh my God. Yes. That's awesome. Okay. All right. We're going to the next question. What is people tree? Uh, something that looks very much like a banyan tree. Okay, you often confuse both of them. Uh, so, people tree is very much, it looks very much like a banyan tree. But it has a very specific shape of leaf. Okay. Usually, you'll find them near temples and places like that. Okay. DK, our body will fight it, DK. Next question. Asexual reproduction is common in which of these organisms? Okay. See, you know what I'm telling you? These chapters are very easy. That means I want all of you people to be getting 100% marks. Whatever questions come from these chapters, you should be able to score 100%. Okay? And definitely, definitely, these practice questions will help you. Right? So, asexual reproduction is common in? Only in single cell. Who said so? No, asexual reproduction you can find in different forms in different organisms, okay? Single cell animals, plants and animals with simple organizations. Yes? So the answer will be D. You can find them at varying, uh, what do you say, complexity. Yes? In single cell organisms, yes, binary fission, budding and all of that. But when it comes to higher organisms like plants, we have vegetative reproduction, vegetative propagation. Yes? We also have in animals, we have fragmentation, regeneration and all of that. I mean, not regeneration, fragmentation. Yes? So, even in animals, we have not only in single cell organisms. Again, direct question. Cool. Monday Shakti. Next question. Okay. Come on, people. Before you answer this question, smash the like button. And also subscribe because we are coming up with more and more blocks and units of exercises. Okay, anyways, which of the following statement is false? Yes? Which of the following statement is false? Hi, Sakshi. Yes, Gokul, right. That's awesome. Which of the following statement is false? Asexual reproduction is simpler than sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction occurs by fission, budding, fragmentation. We just explained that. In most of the animals, both asexual and sexual modes are found. Vegetative and sexual modes of reproduction are exhibited by higher plants. Oh, which is false? Which is false? You really don't think that plants can do both? A potato plant can undergo vegetative propagation by tubers. Okay, tubers can have these small eye spots and they can start growing a plant. At the same time, it can also produce flowers. Okay, so you can find, you will find vegetative and sexual reproduction in higher plants. Okay, nobody said no. But look at the C option. Look at, just have a look at the C option here. Yes, in animals, we usually don't have both asexual and sexual. Okay, we often prefer sexual because it brings about variation. It's more advanced and animals are considered to be a little more advanced organisms. So they prefer sexual reproduction. Okay, and that is why C is false, right? They will not have both. Okay, this was a very easy question. You can score. Next one. Ooh, okay. Which of the following is false about internal fertilization? My name is Ashima. <laughs> okay, what is false? I want everybody to read. Come on, fast, fast, fast. 
Read, but read carefully. You can easily eliminate options here. Very easily. Hi, Devika. You have to give answers amongst these. Okay, A, B, C, D. Which of these are false about internal fertilization? Yes. Which is false? Okay, let's see. Okay. Male gamete is motile. In internal fertilization, male gamete can be motile. Correct. Male gametes are non-motile. Okay. You don't have to see. I mean, no. It can't happen like that. No. So, both of them can't be right. Either that ha either first option has to be right or second option has to be right. Okay. Male gametes are produced in large number. In internal fertilization, male gametes are produced in large numbers. Obviously. Okay. Male gametes are produced in small number. Wrong. Okay. Again, see, contradicting sentences. Either of that should be right. Okay. Significant reduction in number of eggs produced. Correct. Because in internal fertilization, usually the female gamete is stationary. It is at one place. The male gamete only has to find its way around and reach the female. Yes. So, female, we don't need too much because it's not going to go anywhere. It's internal fertilization. Right. In seeded plants, non-motile male gametes are carried to female gamete by pollen tubes. Yes. Non-motile male gametes in pollen grains. Okay. So, this is also correct. This is also correct. So, the option is 2 and 4. Incorrect option C. Okay. C is the answer. Superb. It's okay if you take time. But, take time and give the right answer. Okay. Next question. Superb. What do you like more? Zoology or botany? Obviously botany. Botany rocks. Okay. So here we have another set of statements that I want you all to read. Okay. Bamboo species in flower once only one. I mean only once in their lifetime. After 50 to 100 years. Produce large number of fruits and die. In animals the juvenile phase is followed by physiological changes prior to active reproductive behavior. The reproductive phase is the same duration in all the organisms. Juvenile phase is a period of growth between the birth and till it reaches reproductive maturity. In plants, juvenile phase is also called vegetative phase. Which of these following statements is false? That means there is only one false statement. Only one false statement. And in the options, they have told you that uh, the statement number 4 is true only. Okay, so definitely it's true. The others, find out which is a false statement. Okay, if all of you people are saying, see then, see it is. Okay. What else can I say? If you, if you say C, then it is C only. Okay? No, no argument there. You guys are superb. You guys are awesome. Yes. Reproductive phase is not the same duration. Okay? It's not the same duration. It differs from one species to the other. And even within the species, no? Even if you, even if you look at human beings alone. Okay? Even if you look at human beings alone, there itself you can have so many, so much of difference. Okay, when we talk about reproductive phase. Yes? So, if we, can, if we can find so much variation in the same species, imagine all the organisms, even lifespan also, exactly. Yes? So, you can never put that into proper, you know, fixed, uh, what do you say, numbers. Doesn't work like that. Okay, next question. Okay, but we, before we go to the next question, I want green hearts in the chat box. Okay, somebody is asking me, why you like botany? I don't know. I just had interest right from the beginning. Come on, people. Green hearts. Green, green, green hearts. Let me see the botany power. Let me see the botany power. When I ask for green hearts, I get red hearts. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, anyways. Green heart it is. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, you can put in some likes. Okay. Next question. Next question. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm getting plants and all. Okay. Many mammals. Okay. Look at this question. Oh. Oh. Okay. Many mammals, especially in natural wild conditions, are... What is one character you can give to most mammals? Especially in natural wild conditions. <clears throat> This is a very confusing question. Okay. So it's okay if you get it wrong. It's completely okay if you get it wrong. 
But I'll tell you the answer. Okay, I mean, I mean, I'll explain it to you. Don't worry. I don't think I need this. Mm. A B A B A B A B. I think the answer is C. Oh yes, finally I've got a C also. Right, right, right. I don't know. You might be surprised to know this, but the answer is A. Okay, the answer is A. I'll tell you why. Now you look at all the mammals in natural wild conditions. Okay, you can take uh, uh, mammals like goats, okay, or cows or buffaloes or whatever whatever type of mammals you take. Okay, or or you know big bigger mammals like tigers or lions or whatever. Okay, they are all seasonal breeders. Most of them in the wild are seasonal breeders. Okay, when you domesticate them, they become continuous breeders. Okay, so mammals. Most mammals again, not all of them. Okay, most mammals when they are domesticated. Okay, the moment they get domesticated, okay, then they become continuous breeders. Yes, they become continuous breeders when they are domesticated. Otherwise, in the wild, they prefer being seasonal so that they can say, okay, the conditions are all perfect. Most likely, every year in the same time, you'll have the perfect conditions. Okay, so that's when they go in for reproduction. Okay, so they they have a set time every year or every six months or whatever. They are seasonal breeders. Yes, so that is why when they domesticated, it's okay. No, we are taking care of them. The humans are taking care of them, so they can breed any time, right? So this question is based on. That's why they have mentioned, especially in natural wild conditions. Okay, so be very careful. as much as possible we'll do as much as possible questions next question next question which of the following regulates the reproductive processes and the associated behavioral expressions of organisms yes which of the following regulates reproductive processes and associated behavioral expressions what do you think is the answer go for the safest answer yes come on Go for the safest answer. I know, I know. Yeah, everybody loves this answer. Yes. So if there is an option of including many things together, no, then that's the answer, right? Ha, ah, very safe, very safe. Ma'am, it can either be that or this. No, so definitely let's go for D. Right. So this time you're lucky because the answer is D. Okay. It's not only hormones, and it's not only environmental factors. they have to come in together yes exactly okay they have to work together yes there should be environmental factors according to the environment the hormones should also start working then there are reproductive processes and associated behavioral expressions they need both definitely not abiotic components alone okay so we can give d as the answer okay cool Next question. We're going to go to the next question. Okay, here they've given you a diagram. Okay, A, B, and C. You're supposed to give. You're supposed to identify the gametes. What kind of gametes are they? Yes, this is a very, very, very commonly asked question. Very commonly asked question. Okay, all those who really want to get three sixty on three sixty. Yes. because if you look at the syllabus this is there the same thing is there in your fungi okay kingdom fungi you have learnt it this is there in algae also this is there in reproduction in organisms also matlab it's there everywhere okay that itself shows how important it is okay right so if you people say d it is d yes so you see in a in option a you have both the gametes looking exactly same same size same motility if they have flagella both of them have flagella if they don't have flagella both of them, both of them are non uh, non flagellated or non motile so they are called as homogametes or isogametes which mean the same thing okay homogametes and isogametes are the same thing look at the second picture second and third picture you can actually see there is a male there, there are male male gametes and female gametes and they look very different yes so they should be 
heterogametes. Okay, very simple question. Very simple question. Right, but you can score. See, if imagine such simple questions give you four marks each. My God, you cannot be rank holders only. Next question. Yes, reptiles and birds are. Which which category does it come under? Oh, that's awesome, Hema Chandrika. Right. Which category does reptiles and birds come under? Darani, join the Tamil channel. Okay, on Monday three forty five, you can hear me talking in Tamil. Don't worry. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which category? Yes, reptiles and birds they lay eggs. Okay, they prefer laying eggs. Fertilization happens inside. Okay, and after fertilization. They'll they'll build a very nice cozy calcareous shell around the fertilized zygote and they'll push it out. They'll say, okay, now you take care. I can't. Okay, this one itself is big work, right? They'll push the eggs out. They'll take care of the eggs also for a while and then they'll forget about it. But anyways, they are oviparous. Okay, they are oviparous. Right? This is also a very direct question. Very direct. Very easy question. Okay. Okay. Next is an assertion reason question. Go ahead, go ahead, all of you. Okay, assertion is individuals produced by asexual reproduction are genetically similar to parents. Okay, reason is asexual reproduction involves only mitotic division. What can you find out about the assertion and reason? Okay, hi Subrio. Yes, I do remember you. It's nice to see familiar faces here. Yes, people, keep smashing the like button as you give your answers. Yes. Okay. B C A. I'm seeing everything. Yes, Rashmi, absolutely. Clearly, A. I'm getting. Okay, but I'm getting B also. C also. What is going on? Lokesh, I'm in Bangalore. I'm in the office. Okay. So individuals produced by asexual reproduction are genetically similar to parents. Yes, that's the whole point. Okay, they they do produce clones. Okay, which is true. Asexual reproduction produces clones. That means the result is definitely clones. Now, why, why, why do they produce clones? Because they don't have meiosis. Okay, they only have mitotic divisions. Okay, because in meiosis, if there is meiosis, there is going to be genetic variation. Okay, in meiosis, there is going to be genetic variation. So clearly, clearly you can see, clearly you can see in mitosis, you don't have genetic variation, and that's why they produce clones. Yes. So now you tell me. Oh ho, Kirtika. Yes, 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 yes. Because in mitosis, you only get duplication, equational division. Yes, clones are yes. Perfect, perfect. So actually, I'll give you a trick. Okay. Do you guys want a trick for assertion reason questions? Do you want to know a trick, an easy way of scoring in assertion reason questions? Yes or no? Yes or no? Do you want? You want because these assertion reason questions are always a headache, always, always big time headache. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, so when you have assertion reason questions, read the assertion point. Okay, and after the assertion point, put a because. Okay, because and read it continuously. Yes, read it. Individuals produced by asexual reproduction are genetically similar to parents because asexual reproduction involves only mitotic divisions. Yes, when you put because and put it into one sentence, now think if it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it is wrong. Okay, that is first step. I tell you first. Check if assertion is right or wrong. Okay. First step you will do when you get an assertion reason question is check if the assertion is right or wrong. If you feel that assertion is all right, it's good to go. Check for 
reason is the reason point right or wrong okay that's the second thing you will do okay now check if reason is right or wrong third step you will do is put because okay third step you will put because and see if it makes sense okay so this is how you can solve all your assertion reason questions all of them all of them because everything follows the same sequence okay first you check if the statements are right or wrong if you feel that both of them are right put a because in between them and read the sentence if it makes sense go ahead okay now you'll never make mistakes in assertion reason questions right when's the next class next thursday okay next question next question next question an invasive weed found in standing water you know if you remember if you were there in the beginning of the class okay you will get this right you were there you were there at the beginning yes now i know now i know how many of you people were there right from the beginning awesome 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 wow yes yes okay that that means i'm going to get some likes also here yes invasive weeds found in standing water is going to suffocate all the living organisms in the water it is icornia or our water hyacinth yes this was our first question i'll never forget first question with you people close to my heart yes okay it is d water hyacinth it's a simple question also okay it reduces the oxygen yes yes it does it doesn't allow sunlight also to pass through terror of bengal yes next question which among the following is immortal yes which among the following is immortal i don't see vampires so don't give vampires as the answer yes venkatesan ah that's awesome sanjay okay there is no vampire so don't give vampire as the answer give something amongst this i know vampires are immortal c algae amoeba plants don't by vegetative propagation every living organism is mortal which one which one which one simple okay oh ho ho ah ha ha i love on you yeah yeah same same ha huh? same hi hinay long time okay so the answer is amoeba because generally single cell organisms are immortal okay immortal means something that doesn't die okay so you have one cell right so if we have one cell okay if it's a single cell organism if this has to divide okay it will the same one cell only will divide okay the same cell will divide into two cells right so now now this will this won't be there now you'll have only these two cells that means that parent cell okay it's a very touching sentence i'll i'll tell you the sentence the parental cells or the parent cell live through its offspring okay so they never die the parental cell only is going to form the daughter cells no so they never die okay very very emotionally attached organisms very emotionally attached organisms don't worry don't worry my dear children i will always live through you okay so that you will find in single cell organisms okay next question see very heart touching even i don't know much more than uh, all our movies very heart touching next question non flagellate spores are called conidia okay so we have conidia where are they seen where are they seen yes yes where are they where, where do you see conidia okay now don't tell me conidia found on conidio spores conidio spores they are found on conidio spores okay but in which organism very, very good very good very good yes this is the direct answer okay so i'll definitely go for penicillium okay yes 
Yes, absolutely. Penicillium fungi. Okay, can you give me the family also? Can you give me the group of fungi? Where do you find conidia? You will find conidia in as asexual spores. Okay, as asexual spores, you will find them in ascomycetes. Okay, and deutromycetes. Conidia is their asexual spores in both ascomycetes and in deutromycetes. Phycomycetes don't have conidia. Okay, phycomycetes have uh, zygospores. I mean, not zygospores, aplanospores and zoospores. Ah, yes. Okay. Tamil classes are there in Tamil channel. I'm only taking. Check, check, master Tamil channel. I'm only taking, don't worry. Yes. Simple questions. Any tips for NEED 2023 aspirants? Answer these questions. These are very easy questions. Okay. Anyways, next one. Which type of stem modification is seen in banana? The session is up to 10 o'clock. Okay. When will you teach in Tamil? I've already been teaching in Tamil. Just check your master channel. Okay. I have been taking in Tamil. So this one, this one, this one. Which type of modification, stem modification do you see in banana? Awesome. Yes, you people are perfect. Okay. 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 I think, I think I should, you know what? It's high time that I give you a green heart. Yes, perfect people. Superb. Superb, superb, superb. The answer is rhizome. Okay. Stem tuber is for potato. Bulb is an onion. I know you can't see this color. Okay. Stem tuber you find in potato. Okay. Bulb you see in onion and ginger. Uh, sorry, onion and garlic. Okay. Com. It's actually com. Com you see in uh, zameen kand and yam. Okay. Okay. Rhizome you would see in banana and ginger and all of that. Perfect. 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 Okay. Rhizome is the answer. Okay, bulbul in a gift. Wow, you people are superb. Okay, if the gametes are similar in their appearance, they are called as. This is something we already did. Cool, cool questions. Sure, Teju, I'll try. Sanjay, check my Tamil channel, Sanjay. This is very easy. If they are similar in appearance, okay, if the male gamete and the female gamete look same, then what do you call them? Yes, we call them isogametes and homogametes. That is both B and C. Very easy question, very easy answer, very easy four marks. Yes? Now you tell me one thing. Do you feel confident now that you can write your NEET exam? See, sexual reproduction in flowering plants, reproduction in organisms are chapters with high weightage. Okay, with very, very high weightage. Right? So, I know there are difficult chapters. Don't worry about the difficult chapters. The easy chapters, you should get maximum marks. Yes? You should get, you, you should be able to get maximum marks. Right? So, don't worry. Next question. Right. That's how, that's how you increase your confidence. Okay. Yes. Shall we try this? We have juvenile phase. We have gametogenesis, gamete transfer and fertile phase. Let's try physics and chemistry. It'll happen. Don't worry. We have amazing teachers for that also. Okay. Shreya sir, Vaseem sir and Sinduram, they're, they're working day in and day, day night for you people. Yes. Don't worry. It's all cool. All under control. Okay. Let's smash this. Come on. Yes, Teju. Absolutely. These kind of questions you can definitely expect in the exam. Okay. Come on, match, 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 match. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of D. Let's see, let's see. Um, let's see what is easy over here, okay? Cells produced during meiosis. What, what, what is produced after meiosis? Gametes are produced, okay? So gametogenesis is going to be cells produced during meiosis, okay? So Q is one. Q one wala option. Yes, you have eliminated two options here. Okay, then conjugation of heterogeneous meiotic cells. What are these meiotic cells? Gametes. 
Okay, so when conjugation of gametes happen, that's called as that's called as fertile phase. Yeah, gamete transfer phase. Yes, phase during which heterogeneous uh, meiotic divisions occur. Right, 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 right. Okay. So gamete transfer phase is where you conjugate the heterogeneous meiotic cells. Yeah. Then fertile phase is there. Okay. So I guess with R four, you should be able to get the answer. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this is the answer. Let's see. Oh yes. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. P is three. Let's let's work this out. Okay. Once more. Let's see if it makes sense. P is three, okay. Juvenile phase, the phase during which specific maturation occurs. Where does spe specific maturation is taking place so that you know the organism is growing maximum. There is no reproduction happening, okay. That is your juvenile phase, okay. Then Q one, Q one we already did cells produce during meiosis. R four we already did gamete transfer. That's where after gamete transfer only there is conjugation. There is no fertilization, no. Okay, so there is conjugation. fertile phase okay so the phase during which heterogeneous meiotic divisions occur okay the phase the time duration during which the gametogenesis is happening is during the fertile phase otherwise they won't produce the gametes no why would they in the juvenile phase they'll never produce the gametes okay backlogs that need don't worry don't learn anything new if you are if you are a neat 2022 aspirant don't go for learning anything new Okay, please learn. Please revise the old chapters, old uh, concepts again. Okay, don't worry about backlogs. Okay, next one. Ooh, look at the diagram and give the answer. Okay, very very important thing. All your NCERT diagrams. Okay, all your NCERT diagrams is important. This is very easy. I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer now. Yes. Okay, moving on. The answer is conidia. Direct question, very direct question. It's not a plasmospore, not algae, not zoospore. It is conidia found on conidios spores. We know where it is found also. Penicillium, Ascomycetes, etc. Super, super, super. Next question. Binary fission is a type of. Binary fission is a type of what? Yes, yes. These are chapters. These are questions which are bound to come. Okay. Again, very easy question. Binary fission is asexual reproduction. Don't go for vegetative propagation because vegetative propagation is for plants, right? Awesome. Again, you people are pro. Let's go to the next question. Ha. Huh. This one you give. This one you give. This I've seen in several places. I've seen this question related questions. clear cut vegetative reproductive and senescent phases are not found in yes they are not found in which of these plants you will not be able to say okay this this from your this or from this month to this month is vegetative from this month to this month is reproductive okay it's not clear cut it's just a mix it can happen okay there is vegetative growth there is reproduction happening at one side there are leaves dying at the other side yes perennial plants even in biennial plants you have proper clear cut phases okay you will actually see there is a vegetative phase reproductive and senescence but in perennial plants okay the ones that live for more than 3 years no you can't okay see okay awesome these are easy questions okay let's try this which is not correctly matched okay which is not correctly matched which is not correctly matched let's see let's see see binary fission and sargassum yes binary fission does not happen in sargassum sargassum are multicellular big huge algae okay they have many other ways of uh, reproduction they have fragmentation and all binary fission is usually for bacteria Okay, and yeast, right? Again, direct question. The others are all perfect. Offset. What are hyacinth? 
rhizome banana, Corydia penicillium. Several times we have done the same question, I mean similar questions. Okay, very, very, very important question. Oviole of angiosperm is technically equivalent to what is it technically equivalent to? Oh, you people are so cool. Yes. Ovule. Megasporangia, megasporophyll, megaspore mother cell, megaspore. Okay, see, this is direct. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a list, okay? Ovule is the structure which contains the gametes, okay? Which contains the megaspore, I mean, uh, entire structure. So megasporangium, okay, which contains the spore. Ovule is the structure that contains the spore. Yes, so mega sporangium. Okay, ovule is megasporangium. What is megasporophyll? I would give this as carpel. Okay, carpel or pistil is the megasporophyll. Megasperm mother cell has the na same name. Even in higher plants, even in angiosperms, it's the same thing. Okay? Megaspore also is the same thing. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay? It is when it comes to megasporangium ovule, that is the main thing you have to remember. Okay? Yes. Very good. Aha. Embryo sac. Okay? The structure that contains the Female gametes. Female gametophyte. Okay, very important. Just like how you learn megasporangium as ovule, embryo sac is a female gametophyte. Very, 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 very important. Okay? Right. Next one. Next question. This is A. Animals also do asexual. Primary animals, Dinesh, primary animals do. Next question, come on. Which one of the following statements is not true? Gametophyte, megasporangium, both the same? No, no. Gametophyte is em embryo sac. Megasporangium is ovule. Inside the ovule only, you have the embryo sac. There are any backlogs for 2023? You have to sit and watch. If you have access to replays, please do sit and watch the replays. You can find the videos on YouTube also, okay? As as you go with your uh, uh, 12th, finish off your 11th also. Maybe once a month or something, okay? Yes, awesome people. Yes, you guys are right. The answer is, tapetum helps in dehiscence of anther. No, 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 no. Tapetum does not do everything, okay? What do you think? Tapetum is all-rounder. No, no, no. Tapetum is already giving food, okay? That is a big thing, Yes. It cannot help in the sense of anther. It helps with nourishment. Very good. Very good. Yes. So the answer is D. Awesome people. Okay. You guys can take, take more of green hearts for yourself. You guys are awesome. Next question. Next question. Which of the following statements is not correct? Hi, Mridul Kumar. Oh, yes. Which is not correct? Which is not correct. Read. Read, 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 read. It's so good to see green hearts. Which of the following is not correct? Insects that consume pollen or nectar without bringing over pollination are called as pollen nectar robbers. Yes, thieves. Pollen germination and pollen tube growth are regulated by chemical components that interact with those of the pistil. Yes, there's a lot of chemical interaction called as pollen pistil interaction. Some reptiles have also reported as pollinators in some plant species. Yes. Pollen tubes of many species can generate on the stigma, but only one pollen tube gets into the style. No, no. It depends on the number of ovules. Okay. You can have multiple pollen tubes coming into the ovary because they might require more and more male gametes. Okay. So D is the incorrect statement. Because what if a flower, what if a flower has multiple ovules containing multiple embryo sacs? So you need to deliver the male games for all of them. No, you can't say only one is allowed. No, doesn't work that way. Next question. Seed formation without fertilization in flowering plants involves the process of 
seed formation is happen okay seed is there but no fertilization budding is completely asexual yes people superb so why the hybridization is artificial apple mixes yes the word apple mixes means the word apple mixes means away from fertilization okay away from fertilization or fusion okay or mixing there is no fertilization but still they do form seeds okay they are they are pros like that like you people they are very very pros okay big time pros it may mix sexual reproduction point yaar yeah. superb wow next one filiform apparatus oh this is a very common very 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 common question i've seen okay where do you find filiform apparatus thank you dhanush where do you find filiform apparatus oh superb yes okay this is standard this is direct question you find filiform apparatus in synergids okay synergids are the body guard cells around the embryo cell i mean around the egg cell so egg cell is right in the middle it has one uh, synergid here and the other synergid here body guards they are okay it guides the pollen tube yes body guards and navigators next question which of the following are important floral rewards to animal pollinators okay which one ah yes that's fine that's okay that's okay i know there is a recording sign there it's okay no problem which one what do you think is the best gift you can give to animal pollinators okay or what do you think flowers give flowering plants give again direct question okay they give nectar and pollen grains something sweet okay and something nutritious absolutely okay so the reward they get see color and all color and fragrance are there to attract pollinators okay something that you give as reward is definitely nectar and pollen grains awesome awesome next question which of the following statement is correct which of the following statement is correct hard outer layer of the pollen is called intine sporogenous tissue is haploid endothelium produces microspores tapered and nourishes developing pollen you have already answered this literally you have already answered this you can do it wah okay hard outer layer of pollen is not called intine it's called as exine okay sporogenous tissue is haploid no they are diploid cells endothelium produces microspores no it is the sporogenous tissue okay sporogenous tissue that will later develop into the pollen mother cell okay we have pollen mother cell which will form the microspores awesome 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 okay perfect next question so the answer is d here okay even in the absence of pollinating agents seed setting is assured okay i don't care if somebody helps me or not i will make my seeds where 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 do you find where do you find yes yes put up green hearts yes so even if there is nobody in this world to help me i will still produce seeds says kamlina okay awesome awesome kamlina there are other examples also can you tell me the other examples oh awesome Go gokul yes please to gammy perfect perfect the other examples are oxalis and viola they have cleaves to gamma flowers they have closed flowers so they don't have to wait for anybody else for pollination they loot inside silently they'll produce seeds also silently awesome people awesome again i guess i'll give you green hearts it is awesome yes 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 next question okay wind pollinated flowers wind pollinated flowers are what are the characteristics you see in wind pollinated flowers yes 
See, be careful because all of them are related, related uh, words. Be careful here. A, B, A, B, A, B. Come on. A or B? Yes, there's constant fight within, between A and B. Small, brightly colored. You really think when, when wind is flowing, it look at the color. Oh, 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 wow. Nice color. Let's go and take the pollen grains. Really? They don't care about the color, people. They don't care. Wind will not care about the color. Okay. Huh? Insects and animals care about the colors. Awesome. So, small, producing large number of dry pollen grains. They don't want any sticky, wet pollen grains. Okay, they want dry pollen grains so that, and lightweight also. So that they flow with the current. Okay? Awesome. Yes, I am from Kerala. Next question. Unisexuality. Very important question. Very, very important question. Unisexuality prevents what? Okay, it's like a complete sentence in your NCRT. Okay, this is cha Tamil channel. No, this is this is only this is English channel. Okay, Tamil channel is Vidantu Masters. Okay, give me the answer for this. Unisexuality means in a in a plant you can have separate male, separate female flowers. Okay, separate male, separate female flowers will prevent what? When you have separate male and female flowers, what what gets prevented or what? What happens? Yes. Yes. Finally, yes. It can prevent autogamy because autogamy takes place in the same flower. Okay? Pollen from the answer of the fl same flower falls in the stigma of the same flower. So that you can prevent. But gatenogamy you can't prevent. Xenogamy also you can't prevent. Okay? Gatenogamy is from one flower to the other. Basically, unisexuality of flowers will not prevent gatenogamy. It can prevent only autogamy. Okay? Perfect. Next question. As we are going to the next question, put in your likes also people and subscribe the channel. Yes. What does filiform apparatus do? Oh, we've done this question. We, 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 we've done this question. Do it people. What's the answer here? Easy peasy question. Yes? What is it? What is it? Awesome. Yes. What does filiform apparatus do? Filiform apparatus we learned is in the synergids. If you remember the bodyguards. What do they do? It guides the pollen tube. Yes. Just now. Okay. I mean it helps the entry of pollen tube into the synergids. Yes. The pollen tube does not enter from synergid to egg. You got D wrong. Okay. Pollen, there is no need of pollen tube. Pollen tube does not go from synergy to egg. The male gametes move. Okay. It is the male gametes alone that is moving from synergy to egg. Be careful here. Okay. Entry of pollen tube into synergy. Yes. Yes. Filiform vector is like. Okay. Welcome. Be careful people. Be careful. Okay. It guides the pollen tube into the synergy. Not the. Male gametes into egg. Right? Okay. Don't make this mistake again. Be little careful. Next question. Okay. I guess we have to wind up soon. Okay. Two more questions. Ah, uh, no, Isha. Chennai. Male gametes in angiosperms are formed by the division of... Oh, which cell divides to form the male gamete? To form the male gamete, which is a cell that undergoes division. Okay, this one cell, it divides and it forms male gametes. Done. In one step. In one step. I'm giving you a clue also. Okay, which is that one cell? It divides, it forms male gametes in one step. Oh, you people. You people are giving me the wrong answer. Microspore mother cell has to undergo meiosis. Form microspores, again undergo mitosis, form the two cell stage, then undergo mitosis. It's a long process, yaar. It's a very long process. Look at generative cell option. Yes? Generative cell is already made. Directly it will undergo division. You got two male gametes. Done. It's as easy as that. Okay? So look at the question. Male gametes are formed by division of generative cell. 
See, these are all careless mistakes. Careless mistakes that you should big time avoid in the exam. Okay. Last question of the day. Which one of the following statements is not true? Which is not true? Oh, ho, Ram. Which is not true? Pollen grains are rich in nutrients. They are used in the form of tablets and syrups. Pollen grains can cause severe allergies and bronchial affiliations to some people. The flowers pollen by flowers and, sorry, flies and beetles secrete foul odor to attract them. Honey is made by beans by digesting pollen collected from flowers. <clears throat> D for doctor. Wow. Perfect. Okay. Honey is not by made by digesting and all. Okay. You really think we'll eat it then? Maybe, but still. Okay. Honey is just collected nectar. Okay. When you collect nectar from different plants, you, you can actually make honey. Okay. It's not the digested pollen at least. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, these are the kind of questions you can expect. Okay, you can expect these kind of questions. Right? Okay, so then I have something for, to tell you people. See, this was a very, very easy chapter. Okay, this is very easy chapter. Very easy chapter. But if you feel that questions are okay, okay, but you want to improve in your concept, what will we do? Yes, if you want to improve your concept before your exam, use this, okay? CC light is there, need CC light is there. This is available even now for all of you, right? So please check this out. It will give you a recorded videos. You don't have to worry about the time. Ma'am, we don't have time. Whatever time you have left, if you want theory, like proper theory, you can sit and study, okay? 30 lectures for each of the is each of the subject is there right and if you're attending the live class you'll also have class teachers to help you with your doubts yes you'll have tests also if you want more practice that is everything is practice here onwards okay so focus on the concepts you can definitely try this course out okay and yes why would i even tell you guys to try because look at the results we've had this year look at the results see 44 top students from Vedantu. Okay, in KVPY. KVPY is a very, very difficult exam. Okay, and we've got amazing results. Look at these rank holders. My God. Yes, we are very super, super proud of them. You can also be, okay, you can also be here. Yes. Okay, and, and look at this. The distribution of ranks produced. Yeah. So this is your chance, people. Okay, now if you guys have any doubts regarding courses, if you want to join, okay, like I, I, I know that there are other students also, yes, for NEET 2023, for NEET 2024, if you want to know about courses that we offer, okay, you can also check, uh, you can use this coupon code definitely, okay, ASJE Pro, yes, this is my coupon code, if you, if you really want to get some discount, you can definitely use this. Right? ASJ E Pro, please don't forget the coupon code. Right? And yes, absolutely. Please do. The more you support us, the more we can come up with more videos. You know, we can find ways to help you out. Need 2023, need 2024, need 2022. Okay? First importance for need 2022. After that, we'll we'll right, right away begin for 23 and 24 year students. Okay? Definitely. Definitely we will do. Don't worry. So if you want to know more details, you can check out, okay, all the links, all the links are available here in the description box, okay, hey, there's a, there's a mock test also free for you, you want to try the mock test, please, please do try the mock test, okay, the link is here, okay, so WhatsApp also, you can use this, you can use this link and you can message whatever query you have, just tell them you're my students, okay, maybe send even green hearts, they'll give you a special consideration. Okay, so here, this is for all the courses that you have an option before you are 2022. Now, if you are 2023 students, if you want to revise your 11th, you can still use this. Okay, you can still use this. So yeah, Telegram channel link is there. Please utilize that also. Okay, we will give you a lot of updates on the Telegram channels. Check this out, people. Okay, so I guess, oh. Green hearts. I'm loving it. 
Yes, people. Can I see some more green hearts? Female strobili and ovule. Female strobili is a cone that you see usually in uh, lower uh, plants. Okay. Ovule is in gymnosperms and angiosperms. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, yes. Fill it up, people. Fill it up with green stars. I mean, green hearts. Okay. So I guess it's time to say bye for now. Next session. Next session we will, uh, I think we have planned. Mm -hmm. What have we planned? Reproduction and ah, structural organization. Next class, next Thursday, same time. Structural organization, morphology and anatomy. Yes. Morphology and anatomy classes next Thursday, people. Come on, put in some more X. Sorry, some more green hearts. And yes, we'll wind up the session. Okay? See you all later, people. We have it next week. Okay? Bye-bye. Take care, all of you. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, all of you. It was awesome to see you all. Yes. Sweet dreams to you too with green hearts. Bye, people. <laughs>